Hi everybody, Mr. Garrett here and I wanted to just introduce you real quickly to how to insert um, equations using an equation editor for Microsoft Office or for Google Docs. We'll do both really quickly. Um, this one right here uh, is in Microsoft Office and Microsoft Word to be specific and you can kind of see what's going on um, in terms of uh, we're going to do the buying the house type thing and <clears throat> basically I'm going to say that we're going to buy a hundred thousand dollar house so I'm going to show you how to insert the twenty percent down payment that we're going to save for so basically I want to have an a sub f of twenty thousand dollars it's twenty percent of a hundred thousand um, dollars my n is going to be five times twelve which is sixty my interest rate is point oh three divided by twelve which is point zero zero two five and I need to find r now on mine I have this little equation editor button but if you don't have that you can go to insert and then down here where it says object um, you can go and it should boot up hopefully running a little slow here based on uh, the recording but if you go insert object then Microsoft uh, equation 3.0 or something similar to that would show up and you press OK and then up pops this little template. Now those of you that have been working with the Inspire know a little bit about templates but you can see the different symbols and dots and templates and arrows and pies and real numbers and so on and so forth. We're going to focus on this right here which is exponents and subscripts and then also fractions which are here. So if I want to set up the equation, I want to say that R, oops, I'm going to click in here, we're going to say R equals, and then I want to put a fraction in, and I'm going to say I times, so my times dot is like right there, and then I'm going to say A sub F, so the subscript is right there, and then on the bottom, I want to put in some parentheses, so I use the parentheses template, and I'm going to say 1 uh, plus i, then I come outside and I want to do exponent to the n, and then I press to the right arrow, and then minus 1. So there's my equation. I can hit enter and plug in the values. So again, we're going to do a fraction, and then I'm going to say the i is 0 0.0025. And then I'm going to put in parentheses my a sub f, which was $20,000. So I got that there. Then down here I'm going to do 1.0025. And I'm using the arrow keys to move around. Raise to the 60. And I press an arrow key and that gets me out of the exponent. Minus 1. Now it won't do the calculation for you. But I can press equals and throw in the uh, dollar sign 309.37, which would be my answer. Just click out of it, and there it is. If you need to, you can move it around or click on it and edit it some more. They'll ask you about math type. You just say no, because that costs money. And there's your um, equation. Similar situation here in Google Docs. All right, I'm going to just go and say insert equation. And you can see up here, this is our new templates and so on and so forth. Again, you got different symbols there, more symbols, more symbols, and then some templates. The templates here, it's kind of hard to see because it says insert function, but you got fractions, square roots, cube roots, exponents, subscripts, so on and so forth. So we're going to go ahead and try and type that in. So I'm going to come back down here into this little box. I'm going to try and do the same thing we just did. R equals, and then I'm going to do a template for a fraction. And it's a little bit harder to see, but we're going to just type in I, and then A sub F. So I'm going to go ahead and do the subscript F. Oops. We're going to delete that and say subscript to the A, so we're going to say A, and then sub F by pressing to the right. We can also go down into the bottom part of the fraction and type in parentheses 1 plus I, close the parentheses, and then make an exponent, which is this X to the B, and you can go up, use the arrow keys. 
and that'll move you around. You can see now I'm there to the N minus one. So the arrow keys all kind of move you around um, inside the equal sign there. And then we can come down a little bit further, insert a new equation. We'll say R equals, and then again the fractions. So we'll say fraction, and then we'll put in 0 0.0025. Um, in parentheses, we can use the parentheses template here, and we can put in 20,000. Then on the bottom of the fraction, click in there. A little bit harder in Google Docs. Okay, kind of arrow around until you get to where you're at. We want to put an exponent, so we got to put the exponent template and type in 1.0025 and then go to the right and I'll make it as an exponent 60 go to the right again and it'll put you out and then minus 1 and that's our um, answer there and then we'll just finish up by saying um, we'll say r equals three hundred and nine dollars and thirty seven cents so you can see it's a little bit more challenging in the Google Docs. The good thing is if you wanted to, you could share this with me and we could help each other out in terms of making sure that it looks right. Um, but that's how you use Equation Editor. So good luck.